been uh, conducting an investigation into the death of Michael Jackson and um, they found that actually he was eating some kind of Greek Middle Eastern food um, towards the end and instead of it being a cocktail of kind of like sleeping pills and all that stuff that killed him they found out it was actually uh, a sort of chickpea uh, dish and um, yeah they're conducting a posthumous um, investigation worth doing twice that joke in it in a way um right anyway so i get asked quite a lot um about the john mayer kind of tone uh i think you probably guess which one we're talking about from the intro um tom mish also uses this sort of thing i guess what we're talking about is like an envelope filter and that's not an envelope filter is it this sort of thing right so so realistically what we're probably talking about is this sort of thing uh, so an envelope filter essentially um, GNVQ in uh, John Mayer. John Mayer at the moment uses a natural harmonics Qtron on his pedal board and that's what does that kind of uh, I don't trust myself with loving you tone. It's got quite a kind of dark tone to it um, and these are super sensitive effects depending on uh, volume and pickups and all of that sort of stuff so you need to tweak some of these things yourself. But on your Helix or HX Stomp or Pod Go, the way to achieve this thing is to go into the filter and go into the legacy settings and find Tron Up. That's basically doing the Qtron Up mode that we're talking about. And that sounds like this. of the puzzle so the frequency I've got set at 36% Q I've got set at 55 the range I've got set to low uh, I think that's the same as on there yeah and it's a low pass type and the mix is at 100% and the level is at zero so that's one piece of the puzzle another piece of the puzzle is to have a, a really kind of clean clean tone if, if you get what I mean so 
not like something that's on the edge of breakup. You want an actual clean tone. Um, so things like Fender Twins or Mezaboogie Lone Stars or uh, the Litigator, but with the gain dialed way back, maybe, or Deluxe Reverbs with the, the gain dialed way back. Basically, you want a warm, kind of round, clean tone. Then, another thing that's worth checking out is I use the Rochester Comp. I put that after the drive pedals before the amp. This preset will be in my folder if you want to check it out, by the way. And then the other thing is chucking a clon in front of the Qtron, which sounds like this. Basically, it kind of drives the Qtron a little bit more, so you're kind of having to do a bit less to get it to do the quacky thing. And then another thing you could do is chuck a blues breaker or a TS-10 afterwards. So with the HX Stomp, I have to be a bit a bit selective. Um, obviously, on John Mayer's normal board, he has things like a Klon, um, a TS-10 usually, also a Katana Boost, and blues breakers and all that sort of stuff. So I'm having to be a bit selective because we've only got eight blocks and the way that I've chosen to use my amp and cab is taking up a couple of blocks. So you could try putting a, a blues breaker after the Qtron. And then that could take you into like lead territory with this tone. So that's um, what I would suggest, the areas you might want to look at. So my clon settings, by the way, are gain at 1.1, tone at 5.3 and level at 6. And then I've already talked about the Tron up settings, but just again, frequency 36%, Q55, range low, low pass is the type, 100% is the mix and zero is the level. Um, and you want that going into a clean amp of some form, maybe a Fender Twin, maybe the Mesa Boogie Lone Star Channel 1, maybe the Litigator, maybe, you know, any kind of clean amp. And one of the reasons that this is kind of more useful than a Qtron in some ways is that this requires 24 volts and it's kind of bulky, it's like the size of an HX Stomp anyway. It could be kind of woofy, but I think probably into a real amp that would give it a nice kind of squishy feel. So yeah, those are the, the settings that I think you could use to get you in that kind of territory. Um, just one more time. Obviously, uh, it's quite a sensitive um, uh, block pedal, simulation, whatever it is. So worth experimenting with your own kind of um, pickups, with your own pickup selections. And if you've got humbuckers, I'm guessing you're gonna to wanna to set the sensitivity quite a bit lower. Hopefully that's useful, and that can get you in that Tom Mish, John Mayer, uh, auto wah, uh, envelope filter kind of territory. Probably kind of useful for that kind of neo soul thing as well. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for stopping by. If you want to like and subscribe, if you got anything out of this video, that'd be really helpful. And you can get the preset in the description in my usual bundles if you want them. Cheers. <laughs>